In this video, we will discuss, the slow waves, and, amplitude changes. Slow waves of clinical significance, may be, either localized, or generalized. Localized or focal slow waves, have a frequency, of less than 8 Hz, and they appear, at one or a few electrodes. Focal slow wave activity on the EEG, is indicative of, focal cerebral pathology, of the underlying brain region. While looking at EEG for localized slow waves, it is important to focus, on the corresponding areas, of both the hemispheres. For example, in this picture, try to compare the first second tracing of FP2 F8 with FP1 F7. The classic EEG sign, of a focal disturbance in cerebral function, is focal delta activity. A structural lesion, is most likely, if, the delta activity is continuously present. It persists during changes, in physiologic states like eye opening or sleep, and It shows variability in frequency, amplitude, and morphology, so-called polymorphic delta activity. Polymorphic delta activity is commonly, due to a subcortical white matter lesion, inducing disconnection of the cerebral cortex. A purely cortical lesion, does not induce polymorphic delta activity. Focal polymorphic delta activity needs to be differentiated, from temporal intermittent rhythmic delta activity, a distinct pattern, that has a strong association, with temporal lobe epilepsy. It often occurs in runs, lasting for 4 to 20 seconds, and in association with, interictal epileptiform discharges. Generalized slow waves, have a frequency of less than 8 Hz, and appear simultaneously, in corresponding part of the two hemispheres. Generalized background slowing, indicates diffuse cerebral dysfunction, but, does not identify the cause. There are two main categories of generalized slow waves. Delta frequency, medium to high amplitude waves, which are often, regular and rhythmical, and Delta or theta frequency, low to medium amplitude waves, which are often, irregular and arrhythmical. Indicators of severity, of generalized slow waves, include, frequency, loss of anterior-posterior gradient, continuity, and, loss of reactivity. Normal generalized slow waves, are commonly seen, either during drowsiness and sleep at any age, or, in response to hyperventilation, at any age, especially childhood. Abnormal generalized slow waves, are frequently encountered, in toxic and metabolic encephalopathies. They may also be seen in conditions like, encephalitis. Transient generalized slow waves, may be seen, after generalized seizures, or with mild head injuries, causing, only a brief loss of consciousness. Other conditions, associated with generalized slow waves, include, degenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease. Sometimes, discrete trains of rhythmical delta waves, that is, intermittent rhythmical delta activity, may occur, maximally, in the frontal or occipital areas. This is frontal, intermittent rhythmic delta activity. It may be a normal finding in elderly subjects, or, can be seen, with metabolic encephalopathies. Similarly, occipital, intermittent rhythmic delta activity, is mostly seen in children. When present, possibility of absence seizures, should be considered, although, they can be seen in normal children as well. Next, we talk about amplitude asymmetries. Amplitude asymmetries, usually affect, all types of background activity, during wakefulness and sleep, but, sometimes, affect, mainly one frequency band or waveform pattern. Amplitude asymmetry of photic driving, positive occipital sharp transients, or the mu rhythm, alone, in absence of other abnormalities, is of little clinical significance. A decrease in amplitude, of all types of activity in one area, is due either to, a reduction of cortical EEG production due to structural lesions, for example strokes, tumors or injuries, or, to an increase in distance, from the recording electrodes, for example subdural hematoma. An increase in amplitude, of all types of activity in one area, is much rarer, than decrease of amplitude. It is usually due to local skull defect. A breach rhythm, is an accentuation, of EEG amplitude, in the region of a skull defect. This results, from decrease, in the filtering effect of the skull, and affects, primarily faster frequencies. It is sometimes misinterpreted, as epileptiform activity, 